uh, all those changes in uniforms over the years, but everything has remained true here in Philadelphia, thanks in large part to this man, Ed Snyder, who is the chairman of the Flyers. Ed, thank you for joining us. How are you? I'm, I'm great. I'm looking forward to tonight. It's going to be a great night. And, of course, you've got a, a youngster alongside that uh, really speaks to what you've been able to accomplish here in Philadelphia as far as youth hockey is concerned. He's Jordan Fromm, and you're a netminder. Is that right, Jordan? Yes. How excited are you to be here, and uh, and what brings you here? What do you got in your hand tonight? Well, um, I started a charity um, called Shutouts for Kids, and I gain money from every shutout uh, I get. And so, we how many shutouts did you have this year? Eight. Eight. Uh huh. So, how much money did we raise here? Um, tw uh, two thousand three hundred forty-five dollars. And you'd like to give you'd like to give that to Mr. Snyder and his Youth Hockey Foundation? Yeah. Excellent. Well, how, what do you say? I, I'm very proud of this young man, and it, it speaks well for him and his family and what he's accomplished. I think it's a wonder, one, wonderful tribute. It All really right. Is. Yeah. Well, Jordan, go ahead. Hand him the, uh, hand him the envelope. That's Thank wonderful. You, now, Jordan, what team did you play for this year? Well, um, for travel, I play for Warwick Wildcats, mm -hmm. and for middle school, I play for Wissahickon. Excellent. And what was? did you have a great year? Yeah, we did. Um, middle school teammate to the championship, but oh. we lost. Congratulations, that's outstanding. So, now what do we do with this? Well, this money goes to the Ed Snyder Youth Hockey Foundation. It's a very good cause. We have, uh, you know, several thousand inner city kids that are on the ice and getting life skills programs, and uh, we're very proud of what we accomplished. We hope to eventually have 10,000 kids. Amazing. Jordan, thank you so much for being here. This is a great thrill. What do you expect tonight? I hope they win. It's going to be a great game. <laughs> Jordan, congratulations. I hope you have just as much success next year, okay? Thank you. All right. So, Thanks, all that being said, and that's a wonderful donation, Jordan. Thank you so much. This wouldn't have happened, I one suspects, if the Philadelphia Flyers had never been granted admission into the NHL. We have to think back to when you were on the Philadelphia sports scene in the mid-60s. And this, of course, was a report that was tabled for the NHL's Board of Governors. So we'll read a couple of excerpts uh, from it. And I know you've actually uh, seen this document a number of times, Mr. Snyder. You think back to, you know, the reasons why Philadelphia would have made a good NHL franchise at the time. I found it interesting to read the history of the game in Philadelphia, where it talked about Philadelphia having residents representing a wide range of national origins including many from Can Canada and the Scandinavian countries in which hockey is so popular. In addition professional ice hockey has been played at various league levels in the city since the early 20s. When this document was crafted how confident were you that Philadelphia would become part of that next group that grew the league from 6 to 12? We were pretty confident because you know at, at the time we were the fourth largest city in the country and uh, while we didn't have a great hockey tradition uh, I felt strongly that we needed a hockey team in this town, and uh, it's worked out. It certainly has. Can you believe that it's been, I mean, you were inducted as a builder into the Hockey Hall of Fame back in 1988, and you've just continued your love affair with this team and, uh, and your guidance of it for, for decade after decade. Well, it's, it's been a great ride for me, and I'm proud of the people of Philadelphia. We've got great support. We've got the greatest fans in the country. Um, when, when you see what has transpired over the years, including the building of this new arena back in the, the 90s, I guess it was, right? The mid-90s? 96. We 96. finished this building. Yeah. Um, is how how far reaching now would you say the popularity is? I mean, when it when it launched, it would have been, I would guess, Philadelphia proper. But your your fingerprints, I guess, on hockey statewide now. Uh, do you, you see a huge impact and a huge following? Well, we have a huge following not only throughout the states but throughout the country and maybe throughout you know Europe and Finland sure. and Sweden. I mean, the Flyers logo is well known in Russia <laughs> because of the game against the Russians that year. So. We're proud of what we've accomplished. Wherever, wherever we go in any building we're playing in, we see a lot of Flyer fans. So, uh, as far as the series is concerned, this is just about holding serve and living up to your end of the bargain, winning on home ice? Well, I mean, I'd like, I'd like to know that we can hold our serve, too, and, and when it's 2-2, it's anybody's series. So, we've got a job to do here. We, we fell a little short in Chicago, but I was proud of the way the team played. What gives you the biggest reason to believe starting tonight? Well, everything that we've accomplished so far in these playoffs. I mean, as you well know, I mean, there's a lot of stories in these playoffs, starting with, you know, getting into the playoffs in a shootout and, of course, coming back uh, from three games down and three goals down in right. game seven against Boston it probably has never been done before. So I never would give up on these guys no matter what. Mr. Snyder, thank you so much for the time and continued success in all you're doing with the Ed Snyder Youth Hockey Foundation. Thank you. 
All right, we'll take a quick break here on On the Fly at the Stanley Cup Final presented by Honda. We'll delve into more of the Game 3 matchup between the Flyers and the Hawks right after this.